Ah. So, I've done pretty much everything there is to do in Modern Warfare 3, other than one thing, and that is hitting Max Prestige. Prestige 25. And once you hit it, you unlock Max Prestige Mastery Rewards. Master Prestige finally became available with Season 6. Many people don't know about these rewards. Many people don't have them, but I need them. However, there's one problem. I'm only level 1,195, and in order to hit Max Prestige, you need to get to 1,200. 50. Today, the day I'm recording this is the 19th and Black Ops 6, I'll be playing that on the 24th. So I only have a few days to work my way through Prestige 23, 24 and 25. This is almost impossible, but I really want to see these rewards. So wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> also, whilst we work our way to the final prestige rewards, I'm going to show you guys the other prestige rewards that we got for the other prestiges. A lot of people don't even know these are a thing. So this MTZ you unlock at prestige five or six. I actually don't remember. Either way, this was the first prestige reward that you got in this game. I literally only have a few days to do this. And I played a few games beforehand just to see how long it takes to level up. I really never cared about my level throughout this whole year, which is probably to my own downfall because with the amount I've played with the events and stuff like that, I could probably be a much higher level. I know a bunch of you guys are probably thinking, yo, Brad, why are you not max level already? I don't know, okay? I never used any of my double XP tokens. The only ones I ever used were weapon XP tokens. So if I would have used the regular double XP tokens at the same time as doing all of these camo events, I probably would have this done already. But no, here I am on the last few days of Modern Warfare 3 trying to hit max prestige. Bro! You know what? Although I did cut this kind of close to the end of the game, this is a great warm up for the Black Ops 6 camo grind. You guys know I do it every year. As soon as Black Ops 6 drops, I will be doing the Road to Dark Matter. I'm really excited for it, but I feel like a lot of people underestimate how much grinding is really involved in these camo grinds if you want to get them done as fast as possible. So this is kind of warming me up for it, which I guess is helpful. You're taking fire. You're welcome. Also, the difference with prestiges in this game in comparison to the classic prestige system that we all know and love, in this game, every season had a max level. So for example, I don't remember exactly how it works, but let's say with season one, you could only get up to prestige five. Then with season two, you could get up to prestige 10. Season three, you could get to 15 and so on. Again, I don't think that's accurate, but you know what I mean. So you were only able to hit this master prestige in season six. However, with the classic prestige system, you're not restricted by it the season you know max prestige is there off rip and you can work your way towards it but it's weird though because that means the rewards that we're getting for hitting max prestige in this game you literally had to work for however long this game has been out over 300 days you had to wait and grind the game for 300 days in order to get these rewards even if you played a lot in season one and then took a couple seasons off you will be behind because in terms of levels as soon as you hit that max level in one of those seasons even if you play more, you're not getting any more XP. You're not leveling up anymore. So you literally had to play every single season, every time they increase the level cap in order to be able to hit max prestige. So with that said, since we had to wait 300 days for these rewards, surely they're about to be good, right? I don't know. Ah. Later. All right, so it's a couple hours later now, and we are currently level 1199, which means we are one level away, not from max prestige just yet, but from prestige 24. So one thing that I've noticed whilst doing this is I probably rank up one time every game, and if not, maybe slightly less. It depends on which game mode that we get. Domination and hard point, I can spend a lot longer in the game, get a lot more kills, get a lot more objective points, and that helps out a lot to towards leveling, I think. We're kind of popping off in this game. Now, what tends to, oh my goodness. What tends to happen is I'll have four games where I'm just getting absolutely destroyed or kind of, you know, getting a couple kills here and there, dying. And then I'll get put in a lobby that I can streak up a little bit. Maybe get a UAV counter, UAV, I don't know. Shipment is just kind of all over the place anyway. But even if I did level up every single game, then that means I've got to play 50 more games after I get to 1,200 to be able to hit max prestige. And that's a 
lot of games. And that's games of me trying my heart out to get as many kills and XP as possible. It's crazy. I still don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Dusted him. Flash, shield your eyes. UAV. No. I'm on a 10 kill streak. I can get an advance. And I got the advance. Oh my goodness. Now we can streak up. But wait, they've got some sort of counter UAV. Oh wait, they spawned on me? Hopefully that match bonus gave me some extra XP because that is crazy. 10,000 XP. And we did. Look at that. Prestige 24. We are on the final 50 levels to get to Prestige 25. Like I said, whilst we work towards Master Prestige, I'm showing you guys all of the Prestige rewards that you get before that. And here is the next one. This one was for the Holger 25. I don't know why I said the Holger 25. The Holger 556. But you got it for hitting Prestige 13. Again, it's nothing special. It actually does seem like it has a decent build on it, though. Although when I'm playing shipment i don't like to use assault rifles at all but like if you're playing shipment without an smg then you're probably doing something wrong but who am i to judge it's actually kind of smacking though to be honest okay so it's a few hours later now if you're wondering why you don't see a face cam it's because i'm literally just here playing in the dark genuinely it's funny because i really don't know why i'm doing this to myself i'm hoping that my theory is correct and the fact that these rewards were only available starting with season six you know the time where you can finally hit max prestige surely that means if you have to spend 300 plus days grinding the game the rewards have to be kind of good right surely Oh hey, my god, that's how I look when I die on the ground. I literally have the balloon coming from my body. Can I shoot it? No, I can't pop the balloon. Nice. Oh, level 1,210. We are 40 levels away. So probably around 40 games. Wow. Oh, look at that. It makes me so happy every time I level up. Woo. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on zombies. I decided to take my own advice. And usually when it comes to XP events, what I'll do is if I've completed all of the weekly challenges for multiplayer, I will hop into Warzone and complete them in there so I can get some extra XP. So I can do the same here. So let's pop everything that we have. I'm going to pop both of these crystals on my SMG and AR, both the legendary tools as well. And then also pop all of the perks. By the way, the perks are very important for the challenges and one of the challenges is to get phd explosion kill so let's wait that doesn't kill him wait is it not as strong as i thought what the we've got a bunch of insanely difficult challenges to do in zombies right here but it's going to be worth it because we'll be able to get a bunch of xp from them and we are currently level 1210 so it's going to be interesting to see what we end off at after this game of zombies after we've completed all the challenges Oh, there we go. We got all of the PhD explosion kills. Okay, one thing that we need to do is clear five infected strongholds. And there's one right here, so we might as well get this one done. Oh, there's another room here. I didn't know. And we've cleared it. There's one of five. There we go. There's another one complete. There's another one done. That one was easy. Don't get me wrong. Zombies is quite peaceful and I will miss this mode because I honestly think it could have been something special if it had more consistent updates and I don't know, maybe more planning throughout the whole year with this mode. It could have been great. Every time they added something new with a new reward that you had to go do a crazy Easter egg for, I loved coming back to this. It's unfortunate that it didn't get the attention that it needed. The same with DMZ, really. Although I didn't play DMZ much, I'm sure with the right look, Love. DMZ could have been great. DMZ is another one where I actually loved it. When they added that Easter egg where you had to collect the pieces of the blueprint for that cast of 762 or whatever it was. That was one of the most fun Easter eggs I've ever done. Genuinely. And that was in DMZ. Get those out of the way. Get all of you. See, this is the good thing about having a pack up punch level three. I can just mow through absolutely everybody. 
And there we go. It's complete. So that should be that challenge complete. Should be. And it is. Clear five infested strongholds. And now, unfortunately, we need to go to the high threat zone. One of the challenges and the reason why I'm going over here is get 200 kills in the high threat zone. So, and I also need to kill one abomination. And you find those in the tier three zone. So, but since we've got a legendary tool on and pack a punch level three, these zombies are literally so easy to kill. Like, you would think I'm in the tier two or even tier one with a regular weapon. And here we go. Contract complete. Do we get anything special? Probably not. I'm going to keep these things just in case, but oh, everybody's fighting it. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's not a regular... Okay, you know what? I'm out of there. That's not a regular mega abomination. What I'm going to do, though, is pick up this contract so I can get more zombies to spawn. And I'm hoping that Mangala spawns so I can complete one of those other challenges that I've got, which is get three Mangala kills with my SMG. We complete the contract anyway. Come on! Leave me alone! Oh, wait. There's a Mega Abomination here and a Mangler. I'm going to try and kill the Mangler. Get that out of the way. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Yo, we can run up those stairs. What the? Wait, where'd it go? Where did it just disappear to? No way it just glitched out, bro. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm doing these contracts, it's because I've got daily challenges. And one of the daily challenges is complete three contracts. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there's the third contract done, I think. Thank you very much. That's two out of three mangle kills with an SMG. Oh, wait, here's another mangler though. A flipping mimic. That's a waste of time. Oh, wait, look, level 1,213. So I'm going to cancel that contract. But we actually got a Mega Abomination right here. Okay, should die right here. There we go. Mega Abomination dead. And that should complete that weekly challenge. Thank you. Okay, and this should be it. Did we get all the high threat zone kills? We did. Thank you. Oh, and there we go. It's done. How easy was that? <laughs> okay, so now it's time to see what level that actually got us to. I've got a feeling that didn't get me as much XP as I really wanted. Okay, let's see. We are level 1,215, so we went up five levels. <laughs> oh, this is a process, man. Three days later. Oh, man. So it's currently a couple days later since you guys last saw me. It's the 22nd, and we are now level 1,249. I've literally been playing damn near nonstop to try and get this done, and we are just about there. We need to finish this level, and then we have hit max prestige prestige 25 so i'm not gonna lie this has been incredibly draining to do especially with all the shotguns that i've been running around on this map but i feel like it's a pretty good send-off for this game i actually wasn't gonna play any call of duty until black Ops 6 came out i didn't have any intentions to because i pretty much did everything already there was nothing else for me to do but then i thought of this and this is a good final thing to do what just killed me? What the flip? A Santori. Yo, that's what stops my streak. Are you flipping serious? Yeah, this is why I cannot wait to be done with this. Wait, look at the bar at the top. It's all blue. Damn. I literally must be like 10 XP off of being max level. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I almost forgot some of the prestige rewards. So this is the SOA subverter. And I'm pretty sure you get this blueprint at prestige 17. And it's really nothing special again. A lot of these prestige rewards before the final one, at least I'm hoping aren't very good. There's nothing special about them. The builds are average, I guess, but... Oh, wait, 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 1,250. We hit max prestige. That's the amount of XP we needed. I just needed to get a couple bullets in someone. Look at that. I didn't get any kills. But yeah, this is the SOA subverter. And then we have the prestige 21 weapon, I believe, which is the striker. Now, this one actually looks pretty good. It's got some gold on it. Oh, oh okay. It's got some gold on it, which looks pretty cool. It's 
is actually a nice looking blueprint. Is it the craziest blueprint in the world? Probably not. But that doesn't matter because we are now max level in Modern Warfare 3. So if we go over to progression now, we can see we have unlocked absolutely everything. We have completed everything there is to do. So let's take a look at this reward in the lights at least. This is what you get when you hit max prestige in Modern Warfare 3. It's a blueprint for the MCW. Not really anything special. <laughs> what makes this even worse is the fact that I just unlocked this after reading the blog yesterday for all of the rewards that you get in Black Ops 6 when you prestige. So now this just looks uh, even worse to me, but it's satisfying because I got it. Here it is with the platinum camo on it. And now it stands out a little bit more. Like you can still see the decal over the top of the camo, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm not gonna try and make this out like it's something special, it's really not. And then here it is with Interstellar. You can still see the prestige decal over it. It's whatever, man. Woo! And I just got hit in the face with a grenade. Okay, I'm done. That is enough Modern Warfare 3. Not for me today, but for a long time, unless I randomly revisit it. Black Ops 6 comes out in a day or two now, and I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be grinding all of the camos, grinding through all of the levels. Everything that Black Ops 6 has to offer, I'm going to be grinding. I just had to make sure I got to max level before I put this game down. Before I let you guys go, make sure you go check out Boohoo Man using my link in the description and use my code BROTHERS at checkout for an extra disc. Count. Oh man, it's so weird. The next time we'll be leveling up is on BO6. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.